Steve Domenico in the room podcast this Steve fine a. Wednesday night. First off, Sean doesn't like his camera. He wanted me to throw it on the other side. I but wish I think it was in this so I think that's your good side, Sean. So. I don't know. No, it. All right. Know. So anyway, way, Sean bro. Schubert in the room <laughs> podcast, man. <laughs> Sean, Sean, um, I spell out and I always like on the podcast here, it says Sean Alden Schubert. Do you mind just Sean Schubert? Is it the whole thing? How do you like to be? Uh, announced. Just first and last name. Actually, uh, had to take down my previous Facebook account because I was being an idiot when I was 16, 17, 18, whenever Facebook came out. Oh, you so know, you added the last so I put name. the middle name in there, changed the Facebook Sean, we, account. Something in common. A lot, a lot. We already Mine. have a lot in common, but. You know why my name's reversed, Domenico Steve on Facebook? Because you know you that's like my twelfth account. So yeah. you know, I went Matthew Domenico, fucking took my son's name, his identity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got kicked off everywhere. So everywhere. Sean, fuck yeah, man, we're against the that's fucking it. higher power. We had so dude, on. welcome back to the room. The last it's time you were here, we wild, had wild dude. We had beer fucking walls. We had a small like desk that was like a. I think it was a like a, a grammar school desk kind of thing. I had a, like my little laptop laptop going live from my phone. I yep. think at that time. Yep. The now drum. What? Now you got the drums. <laughs> oh yeah. Fuck man. You got this sweet computer thing going on. It's all lighting up. Pretty crazy. <laughs> you know, I I just want to make sure they're gonna hear us. We're on such a delay right now. It's not even funny. You did a great job. Uh, if anyone didn't tune in at the beginning of the show, I showed uh, Sean's ad that he's putting together. He put together for your fight for Lion Fight yep. next month, which uh, is at the House of Blues in Boston, which is a Very stone cool. throw away from Providence and all your friends, Sean. So awesome. let's talk about that for us, and then we'll recap that amazing performance you had on your Muay Thai professional debut a few weeks ago. But first, back at Lion Fight, you are their first and only amateur Muay Thai champion, dude. Yep. And now you're back there to uh, go 2-0 and as a pro, man. That's it. How's it feel, man? It feels pretty awesome, <laughs> you know? It's, it's exciting to be at the House of Blues because we're used to making everybody drive down to Connecticut to the casino. So being in Boston, everybody's definitely excited. I hear the place is getting get filled up to the rafters. There's space running out, so you got to get on there. Live Nation, buy your tickets now. When you get there, you got to hit the unlock code. Put my last name, Schubert, in all capital letters. And that's it. Pack the place. Get your T-shirts. Get your tickets. You know? Well, how excited is Lion Fight? I mean, it's going to be an all-star card. We have Steven put him to sleep. Three Walker on that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but how excited are they get? their amateur champion to come back and fight for them as a pro now, and who knows what's going to go on in the future. Well, I hope they're very excited, Steve. <laughs> you know? I'm asking you how, <laughs> but how? I think... What's the level I, of enthusiasm I think out that of my, <laughs> my performance is definitely going to be anticipated. You know, the, the level that I like to fight at is definitely um, an acquired taste, I guess you'd say, and... Um, Scott Zur and Scott Kent from Lion Fight definitely see that value in me. Um, you know, there's a business side to the whole thing. So, you know, getting that going as a amateur making his professional debut and then going into a really big card in Lion Fight at the House of Blues. I think that it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be awesome, but... I'm excited to get everybody's support and, uh, you know, put on a good show. Excellent. Well, tickets, 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 uh, as we that's mentioned. That's the name of the game. <laughs> that's the business side. Yes. If nobody caught my drift. Exactly. You know? And that's Thanks why for... you, you are on the road right <laughs> Thanks, now to sell tickets. You're hitting so podcasts subtle. every night, Sean. <laughs> that's it, dude. Fucking traveling all over New England to sell tickets for this. <laughs> but not only, you know, you make your money and the eyes of Lion Fight makes money because, you know, put Well, and fans hopefully I get to come back but, and do some other you things. You are also on Fight Pass also. That's, a, so that's another big draw. So there's eyes beyond New England. So this is a win-win win for big draw. everyone here, dude. Um, you've been on kind of streams before. I think um, uh, 
the Cage Titans Combat Night there. What was that? Yep. Uh, combat, I was actually uh, on UFC Fight Pass, oh, okay. but I got my ass handed to me. Against that twelve seven guy. Yeah. In New York well, I mean, everybody something? I fight's kind of <laughs> kind of tall when you're you know when you're fighting me. <laughs> Anthony Scott in the corner is like seven foot tall. <laughs> yeah. over there. You know, <laughs> everybody's got a nine foot reach on me. Everybody fights six two, so you know you get used to that. But this kid, this kid came and he was really in in good shape. I was not as in good shape. I just had that typical fighting spirit that everybody's used to. So. It was just three rounds of him smashing my face in and me walking into punch after kick and getting thrown around and, you know. It kind is of what what it is. a fight that Sean's usually in. It is, in, it is you know? what it is, you know. Uh, we always say, you know, win or lose, you're going to know that you were in a fight with me. So, Excellent. And that's, that's what it. the crowd wants to see. That's exactly, it, man. man. Um, which we got a ton of shit to go over. I mean, you know, congratulations on the Lion Fight, Big Fight, House of Blues. Um, I'm going to... Grab a couple of tickets. You said they're selling out quick. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fast. grab a, grab a couple of tickets. Um, but uh, as far as fighting home again, you had I mean you fought a few weeks ago. Yep. Pretty kind of big stage. I mean, what time Muay Thai is? I mean, as far as Muay Thai, there's only like Around two or three. There's, there's only a few Muay Thai yeah, people. Yeah, and that's that are the doing one of the big ones. And it was their first show back, correct? After yep. uh, you know the shutdown, man. Yep. And she wanted to make his pro debut. How how uh, fun was that? To go in there and uh, just be able to perform again. It was definitely different this time. Not just making the transition into being a pro debut, but just spending all that whole year training and not thinking about having to compete and getting in the gym with just straight killers all the time. I was going down to cross train at Joe Lozon's on their kind of, you know, open mat, secret underground little session that they let the fighters go to. I was invited there by Joe and get some work with my regulars, all the guys at FAF. You know, John Howard's my regular sparring partner. I'm out there with Chip at City of Tong. We cross train everywhere. I'm up and down, mixing it up and for the whole year. You know, you're going to cross train in the backyard during the whole COVID thing. Everyone's doing garage sessions. Everybody that's friendly, we're all getting together and doing little things here, little things there. So for me, it was a year and a half training camp to get ready for this fight and. I was so eager to fight that they offered me a fight, and I just said, yeah. I mean, I didn't really give a thought to who I was going to fight because of all the guys at such a high level that I've been training with throughout this whole thing, you know, waiting for the next show to open up. And I just went out there and did what I usually do, and I had the mindset and the confidence from training with all the cats from New England that are meeting at all these, you know, kind of meetup spots. And you were, um, you know, you were one of the the, the 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 kind of guys that took it took the bull by the horns when everything shut down, because you had a business, you have a business, a gym business, uh, you know, personal training, uh, running a whole, you know, circuit training, everything, training fighters, up and coming fighters and stuff. So you had a you know, not only think about your self training, as far as where am I going to get this training, but how are you going to survive too? I mean, you were battling in kind of a couple of things, as were a lot of fighters lot who of own were. camps and gyms. Everybody, also, anybody that owned a business. But you, you, you know, you came through. I mean, you you learned a lot. I mean, you connected. You you got a Facebook uh, face uh, Facebook group page with businesses, and you guys all kind of. Uh, Got together like fighters in New England, as right. far as you know, and making we were each other strong. Information. And exactly. it was it was mostly it was mostly fighters. It was mostly fighters, guys that owned gyms, guys that were, you know, pros or whatever in the industry. Not just not just guys that are still fighting, but guys that own gyms and you know guys that are trying to make their money doing personal training, doing this, doing that. And right, we're all sharing information, saying, you know. 
what's what's the wave what are people willing to do what are they you know what kind of services are they willing to pay for how are they paying for it all these kind of things and yeah you had to adapt i i adapted a lot of things to my business for that time period i got back to normal and back to business as fast as possible and you know tried not to miss a beat with all the regular clientele you know we try to make it accommodating for everybody to get in and do their thing and and keep it going the whole time excellent as uh you know we speak we'll get back to uh your uh professional debut but i'm showing i stole this off your instagram uh as usual uh but we're showing you gym here everything i mean you have women children every walks of life uh professional fighters you know chips in there with you uh getting some training on coming down you're going to like you said going to get work with him Man, um, it looks like the gym thrived. I mean, it came out uh, pretty good with a lot of struggle in between, man. How proud are you of, uh, you know, making it through? Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about the business right now, and then we'll we'll go to that debut and then and go from there. But how, how proud are you that you're still standing after so many fails? I mean, it definitely feels good to be standing. I don't, I don't necessarily want to think about the guys that didn't make it out because you know that's it's unfortunate that you know what whatever the reasons were they didn't come out through the other side whether it was not going to make it or it was just you know uh something that was a burden that they were able to get rid of or whatever the case is it doesn't it doesn't matter you know you tried to help people through the through the bad times and if you could you did what you could you know and people were there and you know ultimately it's it's your own decision you know like there's not a ton of overhead luckily when you own a gym you have rent and you have you know little things like that but as far as like once you have mats and once you have bags and once you have weights and yeah. once you're established you know like I'm lucky enough that I was already kind of established for the last eight or so years yeah. you know what I mean yeah like some guys weren't as established or didn't have that base to to be able to fall back on and i was lucky enough to have people that supported me and paid for memberships and didn't come to the gym and gave donations yeah. and it you know like my my personal community really came together and and helped me and saw value in having that place to go to when the pendulum swings back the other way and almost always it does right and you know as just showing the gym footage there i mean you had i mean it looks like it's a full throttle crowd in there i mean you had a higher personnel uh you know a couple of people to you know add classes because i mean you don't do that unless you're growing and you're, you you're trying to evolve and get more things for people so uh man kudos with you for keeping that going man and there's a ton of uh people that you've grown up with that I still have their gyms and they're still thriving also so uh man the good nucleus has made it through in new england so let's get to uh the fighting aspect of it um dude you made your pro debut yeah like we said for wartime uh big big event i mean as far as more i mean like we said no boundary in wartime muay thai are the two uh established um muay thai promotions in new england Sure. And you know we get New York, Philadelphia, even father coming yeah, in. Yeah, sure thing. Um, and you f you made your debut for them against Josh Grisby, man, a big name, a dude that you know tried to get on cards as far as MMA, and uh, the courts wouldn't have it. I don't know the background on that uh, as far as you know where he stands on commissions with MMA, but he finally got a fight, and it was against Sean Schubert. When you, you said you didn't, you know, when you got the opportunity to fight, was that name put in front of you or was it just, oh, I'm on the card, find me a matchup? Well, at first, the name wasn't put in front of me, but the record was put in front of me. So I was trying to make my pro debut, and Jake Burke runs the card, says, Are you interested in. Was it two goose eggs? I'm sorry. Uh, what, what, is it, was, what was his record? It was well, a Muay Thai record, was, right? Well, no, they just said professional. He's a professional fighter, and he has uh, fourteen and one or fifteen and one 
professional record, do you want to fight him? So you didn't know if it was Muay Thai or what it was? who it was. Fuck, man, though. And then we started, you know, hashing it out because yeah. obviously that stuff definitely matters when yeah. you start boiling it down to it. Like, you know, do you have 20 fights boxing or you have 20 fights kickboxing, Muay yeah. Thai, whatever, you know, your rule set, for sure, styles make fighters and, and the rule sets that you're playing with, I mean, that's a big, that's a big deal. Exactly. For sure. So... We didn't know who it was. We played the, you know, kind of cat and mouse game, trying to get clues. You know, who's he? You know, uh, we'll, see, you know, and we were in talks with lion fights at the same it's a time. Small community. Sometimes things. Right. Sneak so out, you know? well, eventually we we got it out of him because I typically don't like to handle that type of I understand. business when I'm fighting. You know, I usually let Sean Graham mm-hmm. take all that kind of responsibility. And he handles everything for me all the time, right? So he finds me fights. He talks to matchmakers, promoters. He gets my deals done. He's like a guru. He's been around the game forever, awesome man. Guy. He's a triple awesome OG, man. man. Awesome like, man. so you want to fight? Yeah, Sean Graham. Yeah. You know, like that guy can get you a fight from here to. You yeah, see man, him everywhere. He's, he's everywhere. everywhere. He's everywhere. Yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah. So we were in works. And we kind of delayed on the, are we going to take this fight? Are we going to wait and see? We had other deals, other irons in the fire. And uh, we just said, fuck it. Like, let's just. It's, it's, it's been too long. It's Yeah, let's just take the fight. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, we find out it's Grisby. We'll, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, look, as a amateur making a pro debut, there's no downside to it for me. I'm fighting a. 15 and 1 or yeah. 14 and 1 whatever he is UFC ECW WWF yeah. whatever type of veteran I mean the guy's got a, a good fight resume whatever you say about his personal life I mean you know I, you know me dude I've been doing this for a long time and you know I, I have a business and I you know I'm not one to take jabs and you know shit talk and like it's not really my game like mm-hmm. I just like to fight Exactly you know I I never got into this game to to be the 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 big guy on the big show and the whole thing, I just got into it because I wanted to to check myself and see, you know, is my martial arts training paying off in the gym and where are the holes in my game? And I found out real quick where I'm good, where I'm lacking, where I need training, you know, what what types of training I like, all that kind of stuff. It it came together over the last twelve. 15 years or whatever I opened a business I changed what I was doing in my business and narrowed it down to pure striking boxing kickboxing Muay Thai you know I work with other guys that do MMA but we don't do any grappling we don't do any of that it's I train boxers I train kickboxers guys that want to do striking that's my bag that's what I'm good at that's what I grew up doing that's the transition that I was able to make, you know, paying my dues doing MMA, doing boxing smokers, coming up as an amateur. You know, I I have a lot of amateur fights. A lot of guys would say, hey, you should have probably gone pro a long time <laughs> a ago. Bit, yeah. You know, but at first it was never really like, hey, you know, I'm going to go pro, I'm going to do this. I, I didn't have these huge aspirations to – to making it into the limelight as a fighter, I just really wanted to do it to make sure I was giving people the right information when I'm training them at my gym. I didn't want them to come to my gym and be like, "Oh, this guy's bullshit." Like, I don't, yeah, I'm not training at a bullshit gym. Like, I want to go to a real fighting gym. I want to go to a, you know, someone that knows the ropes and someone that's been there and done the thing and walked the walk. And my opportunities just kind of came along the way and. You know, as an entrepreneur and whatever, like you just don't sleep on the opportunities, and it's good for my business. It's been helping my business grow. Like, you know, it's 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 free advertisement as long as I like getting punched in the face and I'm still able to do it. Like, it's the best advertisement for my gym to well, to have the guy that's teaching you go out and do the stuff that he's talking about doing. And what advertisement? Ad, advertisement for your first professional fight, fighting Josh <laughs> Grisby. And as you talk about, you don't get into personal stuff with that you're going in there you know the goal in mind is to get better and and fight and win but 
We got Josh Grisby making his first fight since, you know, all the dramatic all shit the happened stuff. in his yep. life. <clears throat> you had to get some people reaching out to you. Like I when had you, listen, I didn't fans really know before I even knew what the what the deal was. People are <laughs> people saw the poster come out before I even know what's going on. You know, I'm on Facebook and Instagram just to run my business. Yeah. You know, I'm not scrolling up there for hours and doing all kind of stuff, you know, like, you know, I'm on there because, because you have to be, you know, at this tech age that everybody's in right now. If you're not on there, it's some kind of presence. Like you're only, you're, you're missing almost all the crowd, yeah. you know, like huge opportunity. It, it's, as far as it, business yeah, rights, it's yeah. free. Everybody can get down on it. So like, you know, you're stupid if you're not doing it, but you know, it doesn't have to obviously consume your whole life. And it's tough when when it comes to training or running a business or whatever, like you can't be buried in that stuff for hours and hours and losing exactly. you know, time slots in the day. You need, you so. need a, you need, you need a secretary. Or, uh, uh, I need a media. guy. That, I need, need a media guy. guy you you gotta, no, 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 no. I need there. a young guy. That's like good with so tech. I need I somebody that can, can build the, me just, apps. Be, if you're we, out there, before we keep, <laughs> I need a young guy. that can do all that Listen, stuff. For me. I need a goddamn producer. I need someone that can come in and press the button and show. Like I can't even get that. I'll give you a free pot. Come on and fucking bears pot. So let me just. Uh, I'm not giving up nothing. I'm, sure. I'm not giving, I'm not giving shit. Uh, you can <laughs> sitting with me is, you know, hanging out with me and being on my social media is enough. So I'm going to show these guys, introduce these guys to you. I think the camera will zone in on them. Look at this. We, what technology in the room podcast? Even though my camera's fucking up, but I don't give a fuck. Uh, who are you guys? I know that's Anthony over there on the left. Anthony Scott. How we doing? How we doing? Uh, Mike the Scott Bernard. So Anthony, uh, you train exclusively with Sean, like that's kind of how you uh, came up, and then you, you kind of do uh, you work for him a little bit too. Do you do a lot of shit in the gym? As far as I saw, you uh, ahead of some classes and shit, man. Private trainings. Um, is Sean is um, you know, what's he like at the gym? Is he as gentle pussycat as he is in the <laughs> ring? <laughs> Get this fucking thing out of the way, right? <laughs> um, it's pretty much. Same as he is right here. It's just, you know, you get him punched in the face a hell of a lot more. All right, we're back. Sometimes. We Sometimes. Have this, the, what's your name again? I'm sorry. Mike. Mike, uh, in case you wanted, because you, I know you're not on uh, social media, so I'm going <laughs> to get that off. There's a lot going. So we're back with Sean. Um, so, Sean, ton of fans you didn't know you had before. Um Did it affect you going in? Was it? I mean, did it give you more of a a, a little edge knowing that you had like fucking everyone in the crowd probably rooting for you I except mean, for his corner? <laughs> it was definitely. It was. It was definitely. I would say kind of. Kind of a mental, uh, positive. I I don't know how to describe it, but it was almost like you didn't want to let all these people down, right? That like. They don't even know. <laughs> they don't know anything about me. They don't know me. They're just like people are just commenting on this post and the things getting shared around Facebook and the you know like video. I'm getting messages and people are just like, I'm like, oh my god, you know, like people are like airing out. <laughs> Join my page. It's come to the gym. <laughs> like, it's it's unreal, you know. It's it it was wild, you know. Like people are. People are like meeting me in the in the locker room at the gym there, and they're like, "Hey man, like I heard you're fighting an ex-convict. Like, is this all true?" I'm like, it, "Like the stories that are coming." Yeah. It, it was just wild, you know, to get just everybody earful after earful. It was like, you know, the town crier was out in Middleborough, like, "Yo, this guy's out of the <laughs> clink, and this other dude's fighting him in the town square. Like, everybody come watch, you know? Yeah. Like, everybody was a fan, like." You know, and obviously you don't want to be like the good guy or the you know the 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 whatever that's like supposed to go beat up the bad guy, you know. Yeah. And then you get you go get your ass handed, and he's like ha ha ha, you know. Yeah, just fucking out of me, like you next, you know. Like, 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 oh, the man. Next guy? <laughs> we need the someone else. <laughs> you know, so it was definitely a little bit like you know it, it it was definitely a little bit different having that type of you know I've never had that before with with anybody that I've ever fought, you know, it, yeah, I can I'd imagine. definitely say, you know, the, the, 
you know, the small type of attention that it did get me was definitely more than I've ever experienced. So that type of, again, backing was like a, like a positivity, you know, that like, I didn't want to like, every time I was like getting tired in training or whatever, you know, and you just want to like, you want to quit, you want to do, you know, you want to do less, you want to whatever. That was kind of like, oh, dude, how am I going to let the whole town of Middleborough down? Like, how am I going to let, you know, all these yeah, people exactly. down? You know, like this guy's, you know, in the back of my mind, like you can't ignore that all the things are, are what happened. You know what I mean? Like hit this side, that side, whatever the story is, like, again, not on my business, but like in the back of your head, oh, there's like, a lot going on. There's there. a lot going yeah. on, you know, like you can't stop it. So, yeah. and you're fighting a beast. Too, uh, you know what I mean, a dude, the kid a dude that was definitely you know. fight. And so he was let, like, let's get to the fight, man, because oh, uh, man. I got Richie Santiago on in here saying uh, fight of the year. It was one of the best fights I've seen in a long time, um, dude, man. You know, there's tons of clips on there. Is there is the actual whole whole fight anywhere that someone captured it that we it's going to be posted? I mean. I can give it to you. <laughs> you want it? Fuck yeah. The whole yeah, fight? I got the whole fight. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, do you, what what do you want me to do thing. with it? Put it on, I'll put, put it on YouTube. Put the whole thing YouTube, out. Yeah, whatever you want me to do, thing. man. Yeah, man. Do, right, the, do the whole thing. I got like, so I don't know. I got like a couple of different versions, like a lot of chopped up because everyone's doing it on social media. Yeah. It's like an Instagram story, no, I a little clip here, a little clip Is, that, you know, and obviously I got no control over who's doing what, yeah. but like people are sending it to me. It's... You know awesome, how it is. Man. You know no, how it I'll is. Enjoy it. So let's talk you about know. that fucking fight. But I do the, have, the, yeah. I do have somebody that was sitting ringside that has the has right. the whole thing you connect in, me with in that its entirety. Fella, uh, woman, I got the no. I have oh, the emails. I'll it. send it to you. All right. Yeah, awesome. I'll you. get Lars connected with you so you can send it to him and he can uh, download and right. dissect it into fucking cool. pieces and shit yeah. and holes and stuff. So, dude, the fight. Um, it was wild, man. Fucking war. It was wild. It was. It was wild, man. Talk us through. I mean, not you don't have to talk us through <laughs> everything because you probably don't remember some of the stuff here and there. It was a mad fight. You're on fucking, uh, you know, your adrenaline's Adrenaline flowing. Adrenaline was man, crazy. Dude, you know, everywhere, the people that know you and have seen you fight from, you know, smokers, the lion fight to just, you know, uh, no boundary, uh, you know, cage titans, that shit there. But, dude, the spinning back fist, man, they never fail you. I mean, they never fucking fail you. I dude. love it. It's like fucking. I mean, I I have. You know, some, it's I, coming. You still yeah, can't stop it. I have I have a couple of uh, you know, videos of you from wishes. I think when you fought for a title or two, you know what I mean. That yep. I mean, I'm right there and like there's some fucking beautiful, uh, shit of uh, you perfecting the craft of uh, of shit, the spinning, back fist that people know it's coming, but they can't stop it, man. Um, dude, man, you didn't hold no holds bars throwing them in the fight and. Stop talking, but when I, I I saw Josh trying to throw some, and they were just like fucking, they weren't, you know, and like toward the end, man, you were still cranking them suckers out, man. So let's talk about the fight and the action and what you felt in there and what you, I mean, I mean, Sean, kitchen sink was thrown in that Woo! fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, man, it was it was definitely a wild experience. The kid is tough, 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 because, uh, you know. That I was cutting some of the video up, doing some of my own editing, and I'm watching it. And I mean, the first round was definitely a lot more back and forth. The second round, a lot more back and forth. Um, in my humble opinion, I think we both hurt each other in the first round. And I think just in the second round, a lot of my just natural instincts kind of took over. And by the third, fourth, fifth round, I was kind of recovered. I know how to get in shape. I've been with some of the best guys from, you know, north to, to south. You know, I, I've been everywhere. You know, I've, I've collected a lot of training. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what works for my body. I know how to get in shape for fighting, you know, um, and muscles don't win fights. It's not always it's not always the pretty guy that that knows how to get the job done or that has the gas tank that you think he does or you know whatever the case is. And 
I think that, again, we both hurt each other pretty bad in the first round. I think I was able to recover better than him. I think I had a better gas tank. And for whatever reason, we were able to fight like that. You know, uh, some of those <laughs> some of those clips were, you know, 35, 40 seconds long of just like nonstop, nonstop, man. like elbows, punches, <laughs> knees, jumping knees, flying elbow, like spinning elbow. It was ridiculous. I'm like, nobody's going to like <laughs> give this guy at least an eight count. Like no, there's nothing uh, yeah. happening, you know, and but hey, kudos to him because he's got a, a head like fucking granite. I'll tell you there. that, yeah. you know, he's. Yeah. He definitely was standing there the whole time, and I can tell you I was hitting him. I know that. So, um, end of the fight, you know, you're getting close to the end of it. Not stop, still, man. What was going through your mind? That I mean, your professional debut, uh, failure's not happening. Uh, you, there was a little, you know, you didn't want to let people down. The people that are, what's going through Sean's mind? Uh, if you know, is you know, what's going through your mind at that last time when you know. Yes. Honestly, there was there was a lot of heavy personal stuff happening in the locker room earlier in the week leading up the last couple of days of camp. And the guys over at FAF, John Howard, you know, Kylie, Kurt, Colleen, you know, everybody from the gym that drove out and supported me, like everybody really pulled together. You know, Sean Graham is my my back man. He he made me every he made me everything. You know, I was doing MMA for a few years before I even met him, and as soon as I met Sean, he was like, grabbed the wheel, put me on the right direction, started me on the striking path, put me into boxing, put me into kickboxing K one, started working on my clinch work, and he really carved something out of me that you know changed my whole entire life it changed my career path it changed what i was going to do as far as being a fight everything man it was it was everything so you know to have everything kind of come together at that and and to go on to be to be able to perform like that was something that really made me proud really made me happy um and that was what was in my mind mostly. It wasn't the guy standing across from me because, look, I stand across from everybody and anybody from 200 and something pounders to 135ers, the best guys all in New England because yeah. it's not a big place, man. Like, especially like Massachusetts area, the Mass, Rhode Island, you know, the guys that will make the drive from northern and, and western Mass, and central Mass, and New Hampshire area. But, like, we all meet in these small little pockets, mm -hmm. and it's all the best guys. And I just know, like, look, dude, these guys went to the UFC too. Mm -hmm. These guys are in the contender right now. These mm -hmm. guys are fighting for belts right now. These guys are the best guys in New England. And to be able to stand around and and hang around with those guys and to, to be able to, you know, trade back and forth and just know that, like, okay, man, like, I can stand and, and hang. Like, to get, you know, handshakes and to be to be with those guys, like, that's, that's something special because the guys that don't have it, they get weeded out real fast because there's no room for them because it's – it's a exactly. small community, and exactly. there's not like nobody has huge, you can't huge, keep huge up. gyms. I mean, you, like you need to keep you're up. out, you're you're out. Yeah, you know, and and that's how it is. So, uh, fights over, you win the fight. Um, man, you had, you, I mean, you had a big following as it is. You know, as as far as you know, everything you do. What was said? What was? How was your messages blowing up after the after the fight? I mean, was it was it as as much as, uh, you know, leading yeah. up to the fight? Honestly, like, I mean, like Facebook land, it, it takes, like, days to, to get things out, right? Like, it gets in circulation, and then it takes days and weeks. But, I mean, I'm still getting messages from people that are seeing this stuff, you know, that are, you know, maybe they saw it a week ago or whatever it is, but they're reaching out, you know, a week later, a couple days later, or... You know, like I'm still getting messages from people. It, well, are, as Richie says, fight. You know, the best fight he's seen in some time. Everyone's that was 
the majority of the opinions of anyone that was there that watched the the whole fight. So that's a big fight. And Josh's fight, first fight back, your professional debut. It's a big to do, man. That's a that's that. That 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 video you got there, man, is gold. Give me that fucking video. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I got it. I'll bro. put your logos all over. I got it, it buddy. It'll be all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, um, did Lion Fight come calling after that fight? Was that lined up? Um, Lion I know they have fight a card this weekend. Was already Chip, lined up. Chip is yeah. uh, defending his title. Yeah. He's in where? Italy. Italy, Italy, yes. I think it's in Sic- Sicily, right? I think fucking, it is. He's 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 I got the world by the balls. Fucking. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Is hey, this look, the first his first fight back since, or did he fight it once, no, once in between? Already. I think I don't know. I don't I'm know not sure. Either. He might have traveled somewhere in between his time. I'm not sure. But um, wow, he's but, going to Italy. I mean, yeah. I mean, all the all the Boston boys are on there. It's gonna be a. It's definitely gonna be a banger. Oh, I I got the poster. Let me put that up as we speak about this. So, Sean, you're making uh your second pro fight. Second and, pro uh, fight, my lion fight debut. Nailing it. Steve Walker's on there defending a title. Mike Triana's on there for a title fight. Um, somebody else. Who else has a title fight on there? Who's uh? Is it the the Brendan Rafferty and Joe Strickland? Uh, yeah, is that yeah, for yeah. Uh, is that for a belt? I have no idea. But uh, and then there's gonna be uh, I think uh, Brian Bogues on it. Is Brian he on? Bogues is on it. Yep. So there's gonna be a, like you said, there's gonna be a bunch of New England yeah. guys uh, yeah, going Boston. on there. Is it um? Pro amateur or is it just pro card? There are gonna be some amateur oh, fights fuck. on there. Yeah. So actually, uh, one of our guys that just won the Muay Thai belt at Wishers is gonna make his. I had his picture. I amateur fucking did fight. not upload it. I had it and I did not upload it with the fight. belt. Fuck. Yeah, man. No so, shit. Yeah. He uh he's an impressive kid too. He's. He's definitely somebody that's young, and you should definitely watch out for him because he's a talented young guy. So if he stays with it and doing what he's doing, uh, he can definitely be somebody to to watch out for in the future. You know, I'll tag definitely along for sure. in the fucking when you nuke your ass in here. <laughs> the posse. You're not fucking <laughs> you're, the, you're in the posse, You know I bro. fucking troll your shit, man. What the fuck? How do you think I know things? The beans, brother, the beans. That's it. So Lion Fight 69, brother. Great number, by the way. That's it. So I'm going to meme the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Lion Fight 69, not only uh, you're back at Lion Fight, it's fucking at the House of Blues. I've been to the House of Blues, I think, twice. One was for a huge party that I was invited to. And another one, I think I went to see, um, I think, a, a, a Zeppelin tribute band or something. But, but it was two totally, totally different events, but spectacular in their own right, both of them. What yeah. a place to fucking... I do like the House of Blues. Dude, dude. I mean, it's a very they have place. that second level. I mean, there's yep. going to be fun. It's like, you know, they the Plymouth Memorial is only drinks, twice the, as big. Yeah, man, they got everything. It's going to be definitely a cool place. It's right in Lansdowne Street. There's tons of stuff to do in the area. Definitely a good place to be. Probably take a fucking tea from somewhere a little a ways away. Bring know, bring tea, you closer. You know what I mean? You know, I have I have spots to park in. Fucking somebody a better hook away. me up, dude. I need a ride I mean, in there, the bro. What the fuck are you talking? I'll ride. I'll drive you. Drive Wait a minute, in, dude. I'll drive you in. Where you know? do, do I get to hang out with you? Yeah, yeah, buddy, yeah. Fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, like, no. Of course, I'll, I'll be like, door shuts right out the middle. No, 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 no. I'll get you a press pass and everything. Come on, they don't like me at live. I know. I just said that on live. <laughs> and he goes, I know. I know. <laughs> Steve, you can't Here I am doing nothing, dude. Here I am doing a half a lion fight podcast. They don't even like me. <laughs> Listen, they like they like Look us. Steve. Steve. Like, they like us. The comments over. <laughs> they like us, Steve. Come on. <laughs> so anyway, no, dude, I fucking Scott Scott <laughs> Kent man, he's, he's buddies, man. Uh Lion Fight was like the first promote, one of the first promotions I started with. Um, when I got into going to fights and and just you know getting into the scene, you know I think Lion Fight at, at, at uh, Foxwoods. That's I the think spot, so. Man. You know Scott, they like the posts and shit. So I'm, don't fucking spread shit around. They love me, man. It's fucking great. Yeah, fucking guy. No misinformation fucking here. Dude, There's man. no misinformation <laughs> on Facebook, guy. <laughs> Yeah, everything on hey, Facebook. I'll let you know true. if that press pass gets denied or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, short. They sent it to you in the mail, guy. 
<laughs> I can fight 69, man. Um, how you feeling about it, man? I mean, uh, second time in there? Well, I mean, what? A couple of months apart? Two or three months apart? Yep. From fight yep. to fight, man. That's 45 good. 45 days. Yeah. Give myself a, uh, a little rest period. Yeah. You know, a solid five-week training camp. Um, um, rest period. Did you get to celebrate uh, this win? Did you get to? Uh, you yeah, know, I did a little, back a little celebrating. Bit. Took some time off. I mean, like I said, I was really itchy to fight after trying to get fights all through the pandemic. I went out to try to get in with bare knuckle boxing. They were down in Mississippi yeah. and Arizona, and yeah, you got to try out with them, yeah, right? They free, have the yeah, we got. We got through the tryouts. We thought it was going to be something a little bit more. You know, it is what it is, dude. Like, they're they're a big promotion. I'm a guy trying to make a, a pro debut. And they're you know, shuffling. They, and they're, they're shuffling. And they're, yeah, and they got tons of big, way bigger names than me on the card. So, yeah. you know, I got to beat a couple they're people They're missing up. it now after that last oh, fight. Yeah, shit, nah, buddy. Yeah, they, man. Go, they come calling you at all? Nobody called me yet, but I figure, like, you know, maybe get a little run streak going, you know, like two or three fight thing going on, and then I'm a little bit more marketable, you know? Well, I mean, you know, you get a fight streak or a couple of fights, lion fight, I mean, you could be a face, or you could be with them, man. Who knows? Contender or... Scott. Who knows Which, who's listening? <laughs> Scott. Make sure you share the Scott. <laughs> fuck it. You gotta fuck out. I'll promote the fuck out of that who knows shit. Who's Whatever's listening? Well, I'm gonna promote the I mean I'm gonna be at this fight. Um I'm gonna buy a couple of tickets. I'll drop you off at the awesome, door. Bro. I'll come in as a fucking Hell yeah, fan. bro. I'll, I'll come in as a fan. A I'll fan. get a bring I'll pop you my can't car. bring your tripods anyways. Yeah, all right. They'll be in the back seat of my car. I'll bring them. I'll bring the tripods. All right, and, dude. You know? Fuck it. All right, yeah. yeah, we'll put them in the gym bag. Tell them it's my shin pads or something, you know? They ain't gonna believe that. No. They ain't gonna fuck no, dude. It's the fucking hey, House of Blues. It's ain't the fucking Foxwoods. My, listen, my brother was head of, head of security stream, at fucking Foxwoods. Fox, how do you think I got in? Pass. How do you think I got in the last two can't events? Cut, can't cut the, the yeah. grass on the fight pass, bro. Yeah, fight pass is fucking uh, they're yep, tight, they'll man. Be, yeah, they're they'll, they'll be in there, dude. They don't want you they in there with me, your camera. I glow like fucking Jesus yep. coming into that place. They know. Man. Fucking Dominicals. Yeah, fuck. Oh, my God. Like a black cat the walking pirate. across the street. The movie pirate. Stop about me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, so all right. Before I mention that, like you, you know, I'm trolling you on Facebook. You have a, do you have new backing, uh, management, something? What's going on? Anything like that? I did sign with first round management. All right. What does that entail, and what is that? They're an agency. They're based out of Miami. They host a lot of big name. UFC fighters, Mazda Ball's with them, Tyrone Woodley's Ooh. with them, some NFL players. They do like a lot with the NFL. You know, maybe some other professional sports kind of sprinkled in mm -hmm. there, but they they do a lot with MMA guys. So they trickle into they, Muay Thai a little bit. They, Is that... they have some guys that do. They're they're like heavy in the big mainstream. They're money makers, man. They're they're an agency, right? So yeah. like. They want the big money. They want the. They want the. Um, yeah, man. There you go. Yeah, that's my who's guy. Dude, who's that's dude my guy, that? Ricky. Is that yeah. the owner or one of the agents? No, nah, he's one, he's my agent. Yeah, so he's the bare knuckle guy. So he was trying to get me all squared away with some of the big, you know, the bare bigger, the bigger bare knuckle promotions again, yeah. just so I could. There's a bunch of them too. Get my feet wet, so I could maybe get into the. Whatever it is, BK FC. There's a few of them. There's, I mean, yeah, you know, BK yeah. BK they're the, they're is the, the big. They're one, the bigger but, one, right? Yeah. So these guys are typically dealing with UFC, Bellator, yeah, the high level bare knuckles. So the they're NFL, players. They're, they have they're big they're guys. Yeah, oh, everybody great. in there is driving Lamborghinis oh, and Maseratis and whatever the. Whatever that's a new kid on the block, yeah. Fucking take Not me, UFC bro. Veterans, <laughs> nope. Man. Hey, you know who gets Fuck. my fights right now? Sean Graham still gets my fights. Right oh, of course. I mean, you know, they, again, but like, yeah. I got to be marketable. That's and, the whole and, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, once you start... gain that, that's when they go, all oh, right. Yeah, right. man. They, you start when... caving in some people's heads. And like you, start you said, it's, some it, stuff, it, it could you know? be three or four fights, and that's when they fucking, you yeah. know, they introduce yeah, you to the bigger guys. Of course. Let's get you Look, this guy's up the, yeah, uh, this beat. guy's rolling. He's doing some stuff. Take, you know, I mean, beating Grisby is not a bad yeah, start. No, it's not a bad start. No, so, it's a big name to take for your first fight. Do you know your opponent for a lion fight? Do we know that yet? Is this... I, 
I will butcher his last name. We don't name. have to say his name. I mean, at this I point, I do know the who game, it is. He... Yeah, 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 for sure. I do know he's a pr- he's another pro debut guy. We were actually again because all these talks were happening. A lot of irons were in the fire before we said, "Hey, let's take this fight, that fight, whatever it is." Your girlfriend's and saying hi, by the way. Hi, honey. Oh, and and Sean said, "Go fuck yourself." Oh wow, kind of. Not, not, not. That's terrible. He said it worse than that. Come on, dude. I Put was hyping bum. you up, dude. <laughs> He's a bum. <laughs> Tell him to do some push ups or something. He's sitting here watching TV on the Fuck internet. Head. Jesus Christ. Jesus. All right, El John is spotted, too. I'm not hey. paying attention. They're all over with the eyeballs. Everybody's all right, what on it, dude. About? Everybody's on it. Oh, my God. I got fucking. Snack time. Pumpkin bro. seeds. Anyone? You got orange, clementine, oh, crackers, I got peanuts. All my waters. Oh, shit, I fucked your stream up. I got a ton of waters right now. Oh, here. no, that ain't. That's it, dude. That's all right, what were we talking about? Um, oh, the management company. And, yeah, and man. So I think that beating Josh is a is a good start. You know, that's a it's a good it's a good opener to the resume. I think that we were supposed to be making our pro debuts together, but the fight with Josh came up and. You know, it was kind of like one of those things that, I mean, I didn't want to mess anything up with lion fights, yeah. so we made sure that they were cool with it. Everybody was on the level. You know, we didn't want to hide anything. And yeah, and you know, lion fight is uh, they're they're friends kind of with uh, with Jake and stuff like that. He's had a ton of fights. Fight, the Muay you know. Thai community yeah. is small. Yeah. I mean, especially when you say Muay Thai and you're talking about. Just Two or three in, promotions, if that. Yeah, man. And we're them. not talking about kickboxing. We're not talking about, you know, smokers or whatever. We're talking about, you know, the bigger. Yeah. There's there's only a, a small amount of guys that are saying, and, you know, I Scott, do Muay Thai. Scott, you know, Lion Fight likes that because it's, that, it's bringing, up their, bringing up their people, you know what I mean? Well, again, hopefully that's what they're into, you know, because, awesome. you know, I'm trying to, again, make a little career for myself. The the name being with Lion Fight is obviously a good good market for my gym to grow on. Yeah, you know, so helps with connections. I eventually know that fighting can't last forever. I'm gonna end up running my gym more than fighting, and I'm gonna be bringing younger guys along, get them connected, have my own connection. You know exactly. what I mean? Like it's networking, man. So. Again, like awesome. I said, as long as I can take well, the punches well, and I keep it you, going. When I met you, like, you weren't even fighting. You were cornering someone yeah. for wartime. I think it was a wartime event. I think it was time. Tony Physical. And it might have been. Who? It might have been Tony P over here. Oh, you? That or really? Back maybe, then? maybe Eddie, Eddie Gill. But yeah, there was a yeah. There we did a lot of like that boxing promotion. Yeah. You were doing some. Some different media stuff with different people, and we cross paths a lot. Yeah, so. and that first time, man, it was like fucking you were yeah. a, a, an awesome. I mean, th- that's how I like connect with people right off the bat is how like when they, how they approach you is like genuine, and you were like fucking. I th- you know at that point I was like ruffling feathers here and there, which I always do. But you were like, oh, fucking, hey, dude, man, fucking, let's you know, let's talk. Let's I think we thing, podcast yeah. like. You know, I you, think you oh, did that, it out of my gym the first time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it came down just. And I think you, yeah, you might have did. I think I was doing some amateur thing for Lion Fight, and you, like you said, had, were just kind of getting into some yeah, groundbreaking exactly. stuff with Lion Fight, and yeah, I think you came down to my gym and did a little interview. Yeah, I was, yeah, because I was trying YouTube. to get into yeah, that. You were yeah, you trying to get into that scene with Lion Fight. Check my YouTube shit out. Yeah, the buddy, New England MMA. You've been doing this for a long time, this guy. I paid my dues. It's all right, dude. We're um. What's you know we're a month uh you know yeah, a month, month away yep back in training camp right now like it's, has it started full throttle like I mean we're four weeks out definitely so. not full throttle yep. but I was back at the gym today training I've been going back and you know recovery stuff hanging out with the guys getting you know, acclimated doing a little back stuff into on the, the sideline yeah. being a sideline quarterback you know that kind of thing like hey, I wish well, my feet worked better John John uh John Howard's got a fight uh next uh yep. not this week and the following week yeah he's CES on yeah. August 6th so you're busy you know yeah, we're checking working. in with him and yeah shit. man we're working so awesome. you know will you be at that will you be going to that fight or are you just uh, be yeah, watching man. it yeah. yeah definitely you're go. in the corner probably no yeah. I don't know about that 
But oh, you're gonna be like me, dropping off the tripod you know, and shit like that. I'll do Is that what your I gotta job? do. I'll do it. I know how to wrap hands. I'm good with the ice pack. Awesome. You know, it's a great. It's a great. It's gonna be a great time. Uh, a ton of young fighters that you know yeah. are Lola, Lozans all over New England fighting on that card. Uh, of course, John Howard, Jorge uh, um, Castro, all these fucking yeah. you know these guys back. Yeah, it's man, a big so. deal. Yeah. Well. Couple things. We'll go like ten more minutes or so, but sure. What do we expect to see out of you, dude? Uh, and I mean, this is a big, the biggest stage of Muay Thai right here. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can yeah. be sure that the regular Sean Schubert is going to show up to to fight. You know, and like I said, win, lose, or draw, like someone knows they're going to be in a fight. I mean, I plan to be in shape. You can definitely expect that. And uh, you know, I'm coming out to be. Vicious and calculated, and I like to fight. I like to hurt people, you know. Like, I, you know, not, I'm not a bad guy, you know, yeah. but like, I'm not like beating up old ladies on the sidewalk or anything, you know. But like, when I fight, man, like, I like to, I like to get the job done. Like, yeah. I like to, I like to be good at my craft. I like to know that, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm a dangerous person. Like, I, it, you know, as a fighter, it's, it's a good feeling to know, like. Okay, man, like, I can stand and scrap with a lot of people, you know, and... You're, like, you are, like, the new or modern, like, killer face of, like, more... Like, your style is just, like... It's different. It's not Muay it's Thai. It's exciting. It's, That's it's, for sure. I mean, look, but I'm not it's a, in the Muay Thai rule sets uh, as far as right. Yeah, but sure it is. You are I something didn't grow that's up not doing that stuff. Not, uh, I have the, a different, the, 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 the mainstream of Muay Thai. I have a different even with the New man. England guys here that are well acclimated, the pros here. Your style is just something that people want want to watch. It's exciting. I mean, as far as yeah, Muay Thai is an exciting. art, and the people that watch it, I mean, they're fucking honed in watching that stuff you bring in other eyes from other martial arts that you know might shy away from like a, a traditional muay thai fight um you just bring a different aspect to the whole game which is fucking marketable hugely again we hope so <laughs> you know scott <laughs> we hope that somebody might be listening and we we hope that we might be marketable you know Defi someone's asking, define your style. So I grew up doing classical martial arts. That's, you know, I was, uh, I needed a lot of activities when I was a kid. Let's just make a long story real short, you know. So I needed to be kind of always doing something. And I was always playing hockey, playing football, anything that was heavy in the contact, heavy in the physical, whatever. I was into it. So karate was really all that was around in the in the 90s you know and that's what I grew up that's what I grew up doing and then kind of the MMA scene started to get real popular the jiu-jitsu stuff started to hit the scene you know people started changing over and doing the MMA thing and I wanted to I wanted to be a part of that and I wanted to again I wanted to test my karate because that was again like how the UFC kind of started off, right? It was yeah. all these guys like, "Hey, my style's the best, and yeah. I'm gonna be." And a lot were karate, and it, right? Yeah, I'm like sure they were. Yeah. So you wanted to know, like, "Hey, is this thing that I've been doing since I was six years old? Does it work? Right? Do I have a blue belt, a brown belt, a black belt, a, you know, whatever, and you know, and all these things for no reason or like whatever?" So I went into MMA and. I found out I couldn't wrestle. <laughs> I found out that my striking was real good and most people didn't want to stand with me. And, you know, I liked to fight. I was I was thrown out of hockey games. I was thrown out of all these sports for fighting. I was, you know, suspended from school and called down to the principal's office for, you know, always just being physical and wanting to just... It, it was I just grew up that way. And this is just a perfect outlet for me. It became a perfect everything niche. you just explained we saw in the ring a yeah, few man. weeks back right? so i get i i don't know i guess my style is just something that has adapted over the last 10 years from you know somebody that you know took this classical martial arts and had to make it work 
for guys that were kicking you in the legs and guys that were going to try to take you down and throw you on the yeah. floor. And, you know, I had to figure out that I needed to go to wrestling class and I had to figure out that I needed to learn jujitsu and I had to figure out that, you know, this thing's good for me and that thing's not good for me. And I had to find my sport, you know, in K1 in do it, you know, in, in finding my clinch and finding my, in finding all these pieces. And I still, to this day, feel like I'm still learning so much, you know, you're, especially. You're a one and all pro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so much, you know, um, and I and, get to work with know, so it, many it, New England killers. That's the best part, yeah. right? Is that these guys are like, you know, like I said, it's a tight knit community, and if you're in, you're kind of in. But once you're in there, like these guys are like, they're so awesome, and they're so knowledgeable, and they're so giving with the knowledge. You know, when you get into work with them, you know, like the, and it's not that they're being, you know, like clicky and stay outside of my club, but they want to be there with the guys that want to work and that yeah. want to grind and want to be there. They don't want to. You know, it's not a it's not a picture taken day, and it's not a video day. It's like these guys are getting ready for real fights against real bad people that are gonna do real bad stuff to them for 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes, whatever the hell it is, locked in a cage or put in a ring with. It's just you in eight ounce gloves or four ounce gloves or whatever the hell you're doing, you bare knuckles or <laughs> you need to live you in there, bro, survive. and you need to hang out with those people and you need to be that kind of guy. And listen, mentality is the biggest thing. And I give a, a thousand and ten percent credit to my mentor, Tom Sotis, one of your mentors yeah. and, and friends. You bought his book. Anybody that hasn't bought his book, it's on Amazon. Um, and that, listen, that is another aspect of that the, is your, all in here, man. Of, like of I your go, fighting style. Yeah, is, dude. You, you talked about, you know, traditional getting into that. But where modern traditional to martial, martial arts like all that evolving from like you know you talk about so, street, source with the look, knife I was fighting. a bouncer in in Boston yeah. for so five that mentality years, of I was, the rawness man in the key, in the ring is what we see I mean it's a street about mentality the it's and, no and, there's no trick there's no dangerous. holding back there's no whatever <laughs> there's right? no giving like, up in that there's it's it's survival right like I trained the local police officers I trained guys that are prison guards i trained guys that are bouncers i worked on the streets with the boston police and with the bouncers and clearing the streets at 2 a.m and dealing with the drunk dealing with the guns dealing with the knives dealing with people getting rowdy on the sidewalk after two clubs let out and you know there's we're gonna be there again people. on the 27th yeah. <laughs> oh, it's August. gonna be wild <laughs> but, lion but you know you can't yeah man you can't you can't can't be a slouch in that game, right? Absolutely. And it's well, a different type of it's a different type of fighting. It's a I don't different know type if you know style. him, Phil Lantosca. Well, that was a great question, dude. I don't That's know. Thanks, awesome. Phil. Dude, um, couple more minutes, man. Tickets, tickets, tickets. tickets. Live Nation. What's Live Nation? I mean, I'm gonna play the video the at the end of this. Put in my name, and I'm gonna play you your uh, promo video with this, you and John. Is this the Howard. microphone? That is your microphone. <laughs> that is your. Look at it. it. Looks like that fucking. Is that the looks one? Like that fucking That's space like, crap. His, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> Bezos. The billionaire guy. Fucking, Bezos. It's a big cock in the middle of my table right now. Fucking, <laughs> <laughs> they can see it right there. It's right here. It's you. Look at you. that thing. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Listen, you gotta go on Live Nation. You gotta pick out how many tickets you want. Whether you want to go to the mezzanine, whether you want to be on the floor, I don't know. There's maybe some VIP stuff left for Lion Fights. Like I said, I just got an email that said that the house is filling up. So get on there, LiveNation.com. Remember to push the unlock button. Remember to put my last name, Schubert, in all capitals. That's how I get credit for the fight tickets being sold. And if I don't sell any tickets, that's the business part. Hey, no contract. No one's calling can, me back. He can decapitate that kid. And no, no one's, one's calling me back. It. No one cares. No one cares. Especially whoever's cashing checks. Exactly. They don't but care. I'm sure you're going to be selling tons of fucking tickets, hopefully, man. Hopefully. Lion fight. I mean, know, people have gone to Foxwoods. I do have Fox a big Woods. supporting crowd right now. You know, uh, we're going to blow the fuck out of this. Uh, yeah, bro. It's huge. It's coming. Uh, Steve Walker. Going to talk to him. Um, down the line. A couple of other people that are on that card. As far as local people. Mike Triana spoke to in the past 
Uh, dude, so fucking congratulations, man, hey, on buddy. everything, man. Awesome. I knew, we knew you'd be here someday hey. at that point. I mean, you fucking work, work hard at it. We know That's your it, mentality's mate. there. It's just the world shut down, and it kind of halted you a little while from uh It was kind of, a, like I said, it was a blessing and a curse. You know, I was able to make connections. When things opened back up, I was running into people that, hey, I haven't seen you in years because the world shut yeah. down. And, you know... Whatever. So now I'm visiting my friends, going to this business, supporting all these guys that I know. Running into this guy, running into that guy. It's, you end up at this gym, that gym. You know, I, I, I wound up in Miami with the management company, signing paperwork, going to gyms, meeting people. I take an Uber and I end up at another gym the next day because the Uber driver's son trains at a gym. He's like, hey, man, come down and train at the gym tomorrow. Oh, okay, dude. You know, that's fight, it. The fight so, community. It's man. the fight life, bro. Fight it's the best community. life. Uh, last thing, my man. Uh, shout outs, thank yous. Uh, I got your social media up there. Um, man, you got. We gotta get. I mean, you gotta. You have the Red Seal Martial Arts. That's kind of the business page. That's when are you gonna it. put up a fucking Sean so the, fucking Okay. Business? You got me, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Steve, on this. We got a notebook over there with questions. There's notebooks no. blank. Look There's it. notebook there is blank. There ain't shit on There's it. Look it. On that there ain't nothing on There's that. There's notebook is blank. <laughs> so I did get into that mentality a little bit with this lion fight and kind of branding out the Sean Schubert thing. So, you know, people know the dreadlocks. People know the fucking... Surfer hands, the tongue out, the whole thing. So we got T-shirts coming out with the new Schubert logo. All my sponsors on the back, the banner, the whole thing. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna launch it for Lion Fights. I mean, like I said, I'm not. I, I just want to run my gym, man. Like, and that's gonna you're gonna you you're know gonna, uh, get the people to do to handle that small stuff for you, and you're gonna be able to focus mainly on. I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to. You know, I look if if anybody wants to help me out hook me up because i don't know i don't know anything i know where i want to be i know where i wanted what i want to do but i don't know i don't know how to get there i'm not in that space i'm not in the tech space i know i want to make videos i know i want to do apps i know that i have so many mentors and so many avenues and paths that i could take and that i have ideas for that again i know that fighting's not the end of the road for me it's just an avenue to get me on to the next couple pieces of my life and my career and my business and it's it's good advertisement right now so if people are digging the sean schubert thing and want to get on that schubert train and you know want to do the whole thing and start on the wave woo, like woo. hey man <laughs> i'm down you know i'm cool with it bro you know i'm there i'm with I it i didn't use that enough but tonight man no you should, was a lot you of hell sm yeah you <laughs> you smack those bro <laughs> who does yeah, that in new england that's it's it a place so to come i'll have t-shirts coming out they'll you know they'll have the new logo on it um who knows what's going to come out of it you know the branded thing works but like I said, I'm I'm all for the gym. I, you know, I'm not like the big ego. Like I don't have a, a big thing. Like you know, not that, you know, not that it's a bad thing, but it's just not my it's just not my style, man. Like I'm not a hey look at me kind of guy. Like a lot of successful killers out there that are not social media like yeah, man. gurus, man. Look, you don't need to be. Look, I, if somebody wants to help me out, like I said, I'm I'm willing. I'm it's you know I'm for it. You know it it's cool with me. Like. You know, I, I got nothing to hide if people want to, you know, but it's just not my, just not my deal to blow myself up. Like if somebody wants to help me out, if I got fans out hey, there, whatever it is. Two for one package, like, help me on the, the podcast and be it, his man. fucking, you know, social media guy. We're all it in. It could man. make somebody Because he's going to be on this podcast uh, again and again and again, man. Yeah, man, after uh, all the W's, bro. Fucking, you know, and with your training, uh, the kids you're bringing up, man. Yeah. You'll be in here as their coach at some day. I hope so, fucking, man. Tell They're doing big things, man. Across the state. All right, uh, social media. Throw social it media. There. It's on there. Sean Alden Schubert. That's my Facebook. You can get Red Seal on Facebook. Red Seal Martial Arts Company on Instagram. All the words are underscored in between the spaces. I don't know what else you want from me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Red Seal Martial Arts. Uh if you want to get on, uh, get some training, we're in Lakeville, but it's not really in, hidden in the woods. We're actually right on Route 44. We're in between Bridgewater, Middleborough, Rainham, East Taunton, right in that area. So we're 
we're pretty close to a lot of stuff. We're right off 495, right off 24, right on the main road, Route 20, uh, Route 44. It's a pretty solid, it's, uh, pretty, uh, you know, straightforward drive. Yeah, it's a pretty I, accessible. Yeah, so it's awesome. You know? Yeah. Uh, it, all right, my man. Thank you. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much for coming down. Remember, Thanks, I'm going to be grabbing Appreciate a couple of tickets that, for yeah. you. Um, and I'd probably be your Uber for fucking the ride down there, man. Um, so with that it, said, dude, I'm going to play your ad now to end the show. Perfect, so man. people, you're staring at that. Live there. Nation, dude. Live Nation. Nation. No, I'm in fight camp. I got all these waters. All right. See all my waters, dude? Right on camera. Uh, Look at it. Bung, bung, fucking bung. eating clementines. That's it, show. dude. I got like the stoplight of waters going on over here. All right. With that said, Sean... Schubert, I left the Alden. Is it Alden or it's Alden? Alden. Alden. Alden, yeah. Alden. From Red Seal Martial Arts, ready to make his second professional Muay Thai fight for Lion Fight 69. Let's get it, baby. August 27th. That's it. How's the blues? Fuck you. Boston, yeah, baby. You can't get better than that That's in it. New England, bro. Boston boys so are coming. Buy tickets. Live Nation. Live go. Nation. Here Live Nation. Go.